I'm just dropping off some size sheet. Looks like they've started or done something. Good morning. So today is meant to be or could be one of the hottest days on record. So we'll see what today turns out like. I am just traveling around to see some cows and some of the sheep that dad sees in the morning because he has gone cutting. Uh, they dropped off the forager and all the trailers last night. So we are starting the pit. Um, I dropped off the uh, the size sheet this morning that we had to pick up over the weekend. Um, and they've already got a couple trailer loads in the in the pit. So, um, so yeah, but I think that was a run through last night, making sure everything works, everything's going to plan. So we're just gonna pop out, we're gonna feed the cows and feed a few sheep and then we'll get on and we'll see the tractors. Just met one of the trailers coming in now. So at the minute, with only one trailer driver, they do a drop and switch. So they, um, <laughs> sorry, bug. Um, so they unhitch and switch pretty much. Um, they've got a third trailer, so that when another driver comes, they've got that one to run with as well. Um, but whilst we're close to the farm, they don't have to worry too much with it. So just letting the dogs out for this morning. Uh, we've been had a, had a chat with Grandad this morning um, and they went around and saw some stock yesterday and they had some sheep out. They managed to pull up the wire and stop any more getting out but couldn't get the two back. They didn't have a dog or anything with them. So today me and Becca are off with Peg, who's over there somewhere, um, to go and bring them back in. Um, and then whilst we're that way, we're going to go and see the rest of the stock and make sure everyone's okay this morning in this heat. And we're going to, we're literally going to crack on now this morning and get it done before it gets too hot. So we've come out to Morton to pick up the two ewes that got out. Uh, they're in the back. We've caught them after very entertaining uh, walk around the field run <laughs> um so they're all in so we just got to take them back to their field now and drop them off and then get going and see the rest of the stock <gasps> dog i just can right, just the yeah uh, I'm gonna go okay drive slowly. i will count my side separate to your side Group of sheep, even. Bex is in this group counting them up. 
rather than driving up the road and pulling in again, might as well just jump the gate. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. That's how they have to come out that gateway because it's so tight. So we've got last year's silage in here, as you can see where it's covered down just behind the blue with the bales on top. And slowly getting it all in. And that is actually where it is, it's nearly or pretty much up to the same level as what it was last year, right at the very back there. The sheet that comes up that last, I don't know, well, it's a bales height, is, um, is just the sheet to come to continue coming over the fresh stuff um, so that's actually covered on the bales so that's not the top of the pit Are heading home. Uh, it is nearly seven o'clock. We're gonna head home so I can get Kaylee to bed. The boys are just in having their tea and they are soon making a way through it. So we'll pick up again tomorrow and catch. So Dad just started mowing again. And we've got some lovely big drops just 
So we are just indoors with the kids having a bit of breakfast and the boys have started. Dad's gone around the field several times. There's Phil up there having a look at the grass. <laughs> Um, we did have a bit of a rain shower, very heavy drops, but it has gone now. Only stuck around for about five minutes. Coming back. Can you see Grandad? Yeah. Can you wave? I don't think Granda can see us. Mama. Yeah, Grandma's there. Oh, Mama. Up the field. There you go, there. Uh, there they come. There they come. Look. Oh, look. Uh, Get a bit full in the back, Christian. Uh, <laughs> so we're out having a pick up because it's not picking up some of the strips of the rose. Um, I had a call from my partner to say that they've had some heavy downpours today already. So oh, we will see if it comes to anything. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> We've been out picking up grass a bit this morning, pulling everything in and got the kids to bed. Uh, so hopefully they will be under control now. Uh, I've brought up the sheep with the dogs. Um, we are going to, we've got a cobalt and drench the lambs and mark up the ewes because they got Sean, Dad sheared these over a couple days. Um, so we just got to mark them up so they're in their right groups. So we are going to Cobalt, Selenium, B12, the lambs, and we're also going to Noravac them, which is a uh, clear drench. Um, hopefully that will cover anyone that, if anyone's having any issues. Um, and then we'll let them back out again. We have got a little bit of drizzle coming in every now and then. You can feel an odd spot, but it is an odd spot. Um, it's looking very misty. Um, I'm hoping it's not gonna come to anything. Uh, as you can hear, the foragers and that are still going. Um, the grass is drying out that quick that dad isn't worried about a little bit of rain on it at the minute So these are the two drenches I'm using. I'm using the B12 um, for sheep and cows I'm a 5 mil and I'm also using the Noravectine um, Which is obviously for sheep for um, worms and that the lambs are gonna have about 8 mils um, So I'm gonna get on, even though it started to rain, I'm gonna get on and try and do a couple before Bex gets back from picking up memes. Dad has just updated me that I'm crow vecking the lambs as well and now he wants everyone drenched. So um, we're just gonna crack on to everyone. But we have had thunder now again. I hate thunder. It's the most angriest and horriblest noise in the world, especially when you're covered around metal railings and it's raining. So I've been in and I've got my coat because let's face it, I'm going to get soaked else. So um, I'm going to try and get a few use in. <laughs> Sheep walking away. I might not though, I might leave it. <laughs> Finishing the sheep, and mum's just had to pop out with granddad. Becca's down at the house with all the kids. I've just come up to see if dad wanted picking up. I'm just walking through the row because dad has had a skid come off the mower. So I'm trying to find a lump. So this is the skid. So we have just checked and checked how everyone's doing. Uh, Dad's taking the tractor in 
Peter Saunders's to get this plate fixed and everything. Um, so we're just waiting on Dad at the minute. Um, we gave him a call and he said that they have succeeded with their welding and uh, they're just bolting on the skid plates. So uh, Phil has gone down, he's pushed away the trailer loads that have come down. Um, and the boys else are just waiting. Dad will get back and we will get on again. So we've just let the dogs out so they can have a run in the field here. That's my sister's dog with Rusty, that's Guinness. Having a good old run and a play. So we have been down to Bira to sort the sheep uh, as we had a call today to say that they were all out. Um, Mum had popped out with Grandad. Um, so when she got back and she could look after the kids, me and Becca went down to do a bit of fencing and get them back in. Um, with all the weather being like it is, they're trying to find a bit of fresh. So we've just stopped now to see the cows. Hi babies! Um, which are all down here by the river. So I thought I would just drive up round to see how everyone's been getting on. Dad has cut a couple of swipes into this field just to have a piece to be able to drive in and on because they had to get round into here. Um, the boys are just starting up. They've, they've cleared majority of this field. Um, because it's been so hot, Dad has only been trying to cut what they'll pick up. So um, normally on, on what we classify as average days, um, Dad would have cut ahead of them so this field would be cut. Um, I'm taking it that uh, Dad is up here. Oh, it looks like Dad's had a choke. <laughs> that one there, I had a load of bearing or something to do with it there. So we just came up and saw Dad in the field and he was stopped. I thought he had a chokage. When I went over to see him, um, one of the row, I don't know, one of the discs that have the blades on that rotates is slightly wobbling and it's catching the other blade so that it's slightly out of sync some way. Um, so he's put on a shorter blade so it stops catching just so he can cut a bit to get the boys going. Um, and we've brought Simon up to, um, to have another look at it. Our handy dandy mechanic. <laughs> um, just to try and work out what it is just so that nothing more goes wrong with it. Bit more of an overcast day today. But what a view for the office today.
police to declare a major incident. The chief scientist at the Met Office, Professor Stephen Belcher, says measures to control climate change need to be implemented. If we were to go on a very high emission scenario, we might expect to see an event like yesterday, one every three years, at the end of the century. However, if we do follow through with those aggressive emissions cuts, uh, it will very sharply reduce the frequency of the events that we saw yesterday. So I think everything is still to play for. There will be some disruption to train services as engineers work to repair damage caused by the hot. This has just arrived today. Uh, Dad um, broke his old topper, so he bought a Cyclone Major. MJ thirty one dash two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> We've just come out and we've just moved uh, the tractors and the trucks around. Uh, we've just come out to shut gates and chase sheep out. <laughs> Got the kids with us. <laughs> um, they're moving just into the last field now. So we're just trying to make a bit of a face. Um, so how we end the pit is we keep a ramp on the far side uh, so that we can travel up with bales. And then this bit here, we try and make more of a face. Um, so Simon's literally just been picking up um, here, what's here, and then dumping it on the top and up the side. And he's, yeah, he's gonna squish that in now. This is the bit I always hate. Um, so we squish it all in and then we'll peel the covers down from the back. <laughs> um, pull the covers down from the back and we'll fold them in at the sides and then we'll put bales on them and stack them all the way up till the roof as far as we can go. And we'll bring it far, as far forward as we possibly can um, until the point where we can't fit in very well and then we'll try and load from the front. Um, I know in the past years we have borrowed um, Phil's, our neighbours, um, who was here butt raking for us Monday and Tuesday. Um, we do sometimes borrow his Merlot because it has a further reach than ours. Sometimes it just gives us that little bit of extra. Um, and then we pull the sheet down and then once we can't get any more bales on safely, we... Um... <laughs> we um, use the big tyres that are over there in the pile and we cover the face with them. 
Uh, one year we did, when we did this, we actually forked levels up onto it and then squished it in so that we brought the bales all the way to the front, but it was a very long day. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Just for the record, I am not a steep person. <laughs> any steepness and I jib out. <laughs> I just... I just, yeah, I just don't like it. You wouldn't even get me sat in there as a passenger without screaming and saying I wanted to get out. <laughs> Squishing it in well though. And now you can see, so this door has to be able to swing. So it needs to like, it will need to come back a good like foot. So we're just trying to make a bit more of a face here. It's not the cleanest. I've still got to dig back a fair little bit if you see in the bottom. Simon's pushing it all down and rolling it all in and I'm reaching as far as I can. Um, unfortunately, it is making a little bit of a dip for him. Mm. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's have a bit more of a tidy up. So we've started to make a fair face now. Um, just under here where the black wrap ends is a um, drainage um, for the, any effluence and everything that runs off. So we do have to find that. Um, there's technically like all the way along there, there is a lip of concrete um, that the effluent catches into to run down to that drain. Um, so we do have to get back and find that. Um, Dad just came down with the last load um, he, we had a spare tractor up there, ready to drain if needed. Um, he said there's two, possibly three loads left. So here's number one. So hopefully one or two left. Um, so we're gonna try, Simon's gonna try and flatten that piece on the top out a little bit. Um, I'll run up in a minute and show you what's going on up there. Um, but else we just gotta kind of, this front edge will just wanna be neated up. I keep being told to go get the shear grab, but it's not something we've done cut the clean face but we'll see um, as you can see it's all getting quite tight here I'm literally stood back by the railings that we wash um, two three weeks ago now when we finished washing um, so it's all quite tight here when we get to the end of the pit um, we'll um, make a nice ramp to be able to get in and we're trying to make a good old flat surface up here so that we can stack bales um, trying to make it as even and as flat as you can as you can see so i can only just about reach here by these pillars so all this obviously is a bit of a dip now so simon's just trying to fill that all in um, so that's the next bit now is just to try and fill this bit in and get this bit nice and compacted so it will take some bales Um, as you can see, as you can see, the rest of it is fairly well flat. We're nice and nice and high. We're higher than last year's stuff that we had sheeted. So <laughs> this is actually the top of the first bales. This is actually the bales here. Um, 
down there is where the bottom of that sheet starts um, so we've got a nice bit in the pit although it is a lot lighter <clears throat> get out the way <laughs> as you can see Simon's uh, pulled his aerial out the way because uh, when you get up this high all it does is ding 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 um, we have had it where we've been really close that you actually have to stop rolling the sides but that was many years ago now So we're trying to make it a bit like in a big L shape here so we can stack bales along here and if we can make a bit of a lip over there it doesn't run away we might be able to put a few bales up there. Um, Simon's just trying to even out that little bit of a slope just here he's trying to just you know bridge that drop um, and just level out the rest of that piece that we've been um, lifting up with the handler. Um, it's the first year I have done anything with the handler on the pit typically we just leave it to the butt rake. I think it's safe to say that it's fairly high. That's still some from the last load. So we're just on top. <laughs> oh right. Um, we've been walking around the sides and just digging out the sides to where the concrete wall is. Dad's done um, these two bays back to the corner and he did all the way along the back. He did that side last night and then we just came up, me and Simon came up with Kaylee um, and just finished picking out the back and we've just done that side there now. If I <laughs> Dad's been uh, Dad's been rolling the top here now in for all the loose, and we're just rolling this front face in. Um, is like <laughs> Kaylee's in with Dad simply because that's the safest place for her at the minute. Whilst we were picking out the sides, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to roll this in a bit tighter and then we'll start pulling the sheet up over. So, Simon's just digging out the corner. Kaylee's just jumped out. She's here with me now. Dad's just rolling in that top bit. We just had to pick out all the sides there because um, the wood boards come down and Simon had decided to uh, roll it nice and high. So, we had to get it down to the concrete. But it's looking good. It's looking fairly packed in up the top there now. Got a good old ramp for the tractors to run up. And then we'll have a little bit of breakfast and then we'll start putting the sheet and putting the bales on. So we've pulled the sheet out and they've um, started putting bales up. We just stopped for a bit of breakfast. <laughs> so we're just putting the bales in like this to fill that gap. So 
So Simon's draining the bales back, Dad's bringing the bales up, and me and Phil are on the pit, helping Dad face and pull the sheets. This is just because it's in the dip. Um, Dad's gonna come and put another bale in back here and then another one on its round at the front here. And then we'll start putting them like this further going out. So we're getting on now, we're on to the fourth to last bay. Getting a nice view stacked up. So um, we put bales all the way across it and we try and three high and then we keep tires in on the uh, inside by the wall just to keep that little gap keep some weight on and we build the tires all the way down as far as we can go and then that face there will get built up from what's pushed out to making a ramp and then normally we put big tires on the bottom Simon just lost two bales. <laughs> he, um, trying to bring four across with a big grab. Sometimes he's succeeding and other times he is not. <laughs> fresh second new sheet and a fresh new sheet. Just gone down. Just pulling the sheet under Dad's tractor wheel. Make sure that he doesn't drive on too much because it will rip it. Simon's still draining across. Dad's bringing up. Phil has gone back to get his handler because it reaches further. Um, because we've got to get bales up on this piece. Um, and it's just getting too tight for Dad at the minute. Um, I'm just on top of the bales at the minute. Um, seeing Dad in against all the beams and things because, well, I can touch the top. <laughs> um, so yeah. And with that said, here he comes. So Dad's just left the blue there in the lane. He's gone to get the little tractor and he is trying to help Simon pull out the bales from the shed, the other shed where he's getting them from because it's getting a bit tight for Simon to be getting in and out, especially with the big grab on. Phil's here putting up bales with the handler, which is going up very nicely. So we've just had some lunch. Um, Dad has brought up a bit of a grab and just put under here to make this more level um, because these bales have started to slightly slope forward. So we pull up underneath so that the bales sit back a bit better. All the boys are just starting to get going.
So we're just bringing it up with the grab at the minute because we can hold the bales at an angle because it's getting too close to that edge. We can drop them in nicely so then the merlot can take them off the pit when we're uh, taking off but that edge there is getting very close and as you can see we've been trying to run up on the side but we don't want to put too much weight on it because you never know how much it might hold or it might not. We've all traded tractors now. <laughs> Bales down the bottom, he's uh, handling the bales <laughs> so that they're at the right angle for dad. So we've been building up the front here um, with the grabs, bringing it up, making a bit of a ledge so that we can fit a few more bales in safely and they're not leaning forward too much. Um, we've got this row, I think we're going to try and do another row and then we'll load anything else in by the front. We've just put another new sheet on and another second sheet on, used from last year. Um, we just put in some up there on the end, because as you can see, it's getting very steep and that. So, um, and then we've got to load this all up here so that we've got another bit of a face and we're gonna put some more bales up. Um, and then we'll roll the sheet over and see what we've got, whether we put a few more bales up or whether we tire the rest, we will see. So we're just building up this face now. We're dad digging it all out the bottom to tidy that right up. And that gully that I was on about yesterday, um, we'll be able to reach that and everything will run out. So dad is just grabbing bit out because we can now reach with all the machinery. So we'll take all these bits out and put them in and make it more level, pull the sheets down, we'll put a few more bales that we've got left in the shed. And then after that, we'll tire it all. Kids have made an appearance out. Come out to watch. My foot is very wet and dirty. <laughs> yeah. Could be your foot.